Assalamualaikum and hi My name is Yenishi Kamarizad You've tricks number 2180104 Now, as the name of the video suggest Today, we are going to talk about The application of fluid in hydropower <coughs> Before we start off, I would just like to say To convey uh, our huge thanks to our fluid lecturer, Dr. Rashidan Sa'ad for giving us the opportunity to teach the viewers out there of hydropower. Now, if you look at the second slide, which is the table of the contents, uh, each section of this will be covered by my respective teammates and to start off, my friend Subahan will cover the intro injection that consists of the history advantages and disadvantages. But my friend Khalid, he will cover the related fluid mechanic theories and the available design and specifications. Lastly, our leader of the team, which is Liu, he will summarize up and fill in you guys with the conclusion. As for myself, I will touch just a bit of the introduction, which is what is hydropower. Okay, hydropower or hydroelectricity refers to the conversion of energy from flowing water into electricity. It is considered a renewable energy source because the water cycle is constantly renewed by the sun. One of the first uses of hydro energy was for mechanical milling. Now my friend Subahan will cover the rest of the introduction. Thank you. Okay, so for overview, fossil fuel, uh, fossil fuel are re responsible for 67 of the world power spectral density estimation in 2010, while coal and gas source represent 12% and 21% respectively. And for world by world population by 2010 to to 2040, the world population primarily from emerging economies such as India and China is projected to rise from 7 to 8.8 .8 billion people. As for world government, work for government expenditure product is expected to increase by an average of 4% per year from 2010 to 2040. In the future, fossil fuel are expected to still have the largest share of the world net electricity production by 2010. 2040 under current policies with 62% with renewable and alternative source growing to 25% and 30% respectively. So this is for figure 1, world net electricity generated by fuel 2010 until 2040. So we can see the data is fossil fuel 67%, coal is 12%, gas resource is 21%. The reason why fossil fuel are declining is that first is oil demand, second is non-renewable resource and third is atmospheric carbon operating pressure. Okay, so his, for history, uh, the ancient Greek and Rome engineer and writer management in interview and f during the Han Dynasty, China was the first to use water for power following by ancient greece and romans and then continuing to medieval period start starting at leonardo da vinci and also for late 80s hydropower has been used in the us and until 1847 i'm sorry I, 1849 is french turbine the turbine that's commonly used today okay so the there are three advantages that we have concluded in this project First is domestic energy source. It was enabled each state to generate its own energy without being dependent on foreign source as fuel. Second, advantage is a source of renewable energy, more efficiency and economical source that rapidly depleting fossil fuel. The third one is the recreational side. Impounding hydropower produce reservoir that provide a palette of choice for recreation including fishing, swimming and boating. Alongside, uh, alongside for advantage, there is also a disadvantage. So the first disadvantage is hydrology dependent. The system depends on precipitation level which can fluctuate from year to year causing instability. 
Second one is environmental impact, affect land use, home and natural habit in the dam area. The third one is take a great deal of money, time and development to create the dam. And the next one, last for last for not least, destroy wildlife ecosystem. Hydroelectric power plant can cause loss or attenuation of fish habitat. Okay. So we'll be presenting about the available designs and specification. So for hydraulic turbine classification, we have three main groups, which is the direction of the flow, pressure of water, shape, and orientation of the turbine. For the direction of the flow, we have three groups: agile flow, cross flow, and mixed flow. Okay, for agile flow, the direction of the water stream is parallel to the axis of rotation of the blades. And for cross flow, the water flow passes through the turbine diagonally or across the turbine blades. And then for mixed flow, the direction of water flow entering the turbine is different from the direction at which the water leaves the turbines. Okay, and then for the pressure of water, we have impulse and reaction turbines. The, for impulse, the pressure of water remains the same when passing through the rotor. For reaction turbine, water pressure varies depending on the variation of the flow path shape. And then for the shape and orientation of the turbine, we have bulb turbines, vertical turbines, and straw flow turbines. For bulb turbines, it is designed inside the water delivery tube. A large bulb is placed in the center of the water pipe holding the generator with cat gate and the rotating blades. And then for the vertical turbines, we have position in vertical direction and the generator is located above the water current. An agile turbine, the generator is located outside the water delivery tube and connected to an outer ring of the, on the edge of the water beds. Okay, for majority of the industry use, we actually use the pressure of water to categorize, to classify the turbines. Okay, so for reaction turbines, produce energy by changing the pressure of the stream, stable for low to medium heat, high flow rate application. The reaction turbines are Francis turbine, Kaplan turbine, Tyson turbine, the rest turbine, Golov helical turbine. Okay, for Francis turbine, it's actually a uh, reaction turbine plus impulse turbine because the shape of the blade have a curve that will actually use that will change the uh, that will also change the velocity of the stream. So it can be categorized as both. Then for impulse turbine, it produces energy by changing the velocity of the water jets, suitable for high heat, low flow rate application. The example are water wheel, pattern wheel, turbo turbine, cross flow turbine, zombel turbine, reverse overshot water wheel, and screw turbine. And then move, we move on to the related fluid mechanic theories. So what we have here is one of the many theories that is applied onto uh, turbine turbine calculation. Uh, so we have uh, rotor P, leaf, drag coefficient, Euler's pump and turbine equation, leaf coefficient and circulation. Okay, as we can see actually the leaf coefficient came from the leaf equation and circulation and we have many, uh, many more. Next we have uh, computational fluid dynamics that is used to improve the performance of the mechanical parts and improve the performance of the turbines as general and then improve the durability of the mechanical parts because turbines will undergo large load and stresses uh, long its uh, usage life and then operational operational life and then uh, it also undergoes uh, natural degra degradation um, over time because of the salinity of water, pH level of water and then the uh, and then uh, cavitation. Ok that's all. Thank you. To my lecturer Dr. Rashdan and all my classmates. I am 2180095 Pegawai Cadet Liu Chialiang and I am going to sum up regarding fluid mechanics principle in hydropower. In the nutshell, we know that there are many real-life implementation of fluid mechanic principles. 
from transportation to power generation and industrial sector as we mentioned in the introductions. So, we know the importance of fluid mechanic knowledge to our life. We can see from the energy consumption in producing electrical power in the world by using fossil fuel. Consumption of fossil fuels shown increase every year since our main electrical energy generated through fossil fuels. Scientists and engineers work day and night to reduce dependent on fossil fuels by creating renewable energy sources. Renewable energy sources such as hydropower, wind power, solar power and biomass are the example invented by scientists and engineers. This energy source widely being used and accept to replace fossil fuels. From the statistic we obtained in 2010, renewable energy source has increased in usage every 5 years and it still continues. This shown a good improvement for renewable energy sources technology which will bring millions advantages to human beings. Since there are multiple effects that we can see from usage of fossil fuel such as oil demanding gain each year, increase in degradables of non-renewable resources and continue rising in atmosphere carbon operating pressures which causes greenhouse gases. Principle of fluid mechanic does widely used in hydropower. Hydropower is basically related to principle to generate electrical power through the high flow of current flow of water from higher places to lower places. Hydropower been used in China from century ago but getting improved by a famous engineer called James Francis in mid 18th century. We can sum up some benefits of using hydropower. From the view of efficiency, we can see that hydropower can produce a better result by comparing to a burning of fossil fuels. This is because hydropower is depending on sun drive water cycles. Besides that, hydropower is cheaper than fossil fuel economically. Next, water dam from empowerment hydropower can be used to carry out some public exercises. Furthermore, water from a hydropower plants will act as a water source when drawn. There are weaknesses of hydropower to human life which need to be considered. Hydropower need to a large amount of water level which flow from high level to a lower level so it is need to build in the area near to sea or river. This may cause sea life lost their shelters. Build up a water dam will impact land use. We need to cut up all the trees to replace a land for a hydropower reservoir. Large amount of money, time and human power are required for creating these hydropower plants. That's all. Thank you.